Do we live in a patriarchy? Yes, I'd say that we do on a certain level. Um, look at, let's look around you. Um, how many men versus how many women do you see in influential positions, positions of power, uh, positions of influence, um, leaders, people that get their way, generally speaking? Uh, it seems pretty unarguable that we live in a patriarchy. Um, what value do we place on that? And remember, I said it's true on a certain level, the overt level. Now, without sort of putting any spin on this, it strikes me that men think fundamentally differently from women based on their physiology, right? Men are more self-confident because, well, we're bigger and we're more able to deal with contests of strength. We also tend to, how shall I put it, as opposed to thinking in a sort of holistic or inclusive way, um, men tend to think hierarchically. This is the patriarchy, right? Um, inherent in the idea of the patriarchy is the idea of a hierarchy dominated by men for the interests of men. And inherent also in the idea of the, hier of the patriarchy is the fact that a lot of men might not even be aware of it, and they have to have this pointed out to them. That it's just sort of happening um, as a result of, as it were, male blindness in many ways. That men don't even realize that they're sexist pigs, I guess. Um, etc., etc. So on what level do men, does, does the patriarchy exist? Are men consciously patriarchal? Or is it just that men instinctively, in the hierarchical thinking, in the habit of knuckling under a stronger male, um, <clears throat> does that mean that it's just something inherent in men that has to be restrained to keep society from, I don't know, turning into a handmaid's tale society or something like that? What, where does the patriarchy come from? Brute strength? Okay. Then it's still, it's natural because men are just naturally stronger. Does it come from something that males are not aware of. Okay, it's also subconscious or sublogical. We just do it because this is what comes naturally to us. Um, we can say that there's a patriarchy, but that doesn't really lead us anywhere because it just sort of says that this is the way things are. What interests me is in the why of it. How has it come about that a patriarchy has gained its hold in almost every human society in history and has such traction that it has to be struggled against more or less relentlessly all the time. Where did the patriarchy originate? I, I am of the opinion that it simply originated in the fact that the genders have certain attributes. If the genders don't have certain attributes that set them apart from each other, well, I think that we're also denying reality here because there are two genders with general differences. Now again, I'm not placing any value on this. I'm not saying that this makes it okay that we have a patriarchy, and I'm not saying that it's bad that we w might want to do something about it. I'm just saying the fact of, it, of its existence is not as cut and dried as a lot of people seem to think. A lot of the thinking we see is that the patriarchy is something bad and it's something that has to be struggled against. That might even be true, but does that make um, the patriarchy's existence, evidence of male badness? This is the foolish argument that the MGTOWs get involved in, or the, um, you know, um, MRAs, or people like that. Um, they see that, or they seem to believe that men are being discriminated against simply for being what they are. Um, I don't see it that way at all, uh, because... The thing is, even if you do take the idea of a patriarchy to its conclusion, i.e. men will always dominate because of the way that we're put together and the way our minds are put together, even that isn't the whole story. When you consider certain things like there is no system in existence that cannot be played, um, even the value of the patriarchy is lessened. Um, the fact that men think along the lines of hierarchy, the very fact that men have 
an instinct to organize uh, in terms of strength that women don't seem to have. Again, women tend to be inclusive, whereas men are hierarchical. Is this, in any sense, a weakness that is exploitable? <clears throat> I'd say that it is. And again, this doesn't make women bad or anything. It's just this is how women can cope with the reality of the patriarchy. There is no system out there that cannot be played. A woman looking at male society and seeing that it's patriarchal, and sh or hierarchical, I guess, and she doesn't buy into the hierarchical thinking, gives her an advantage. What men think is real, i.e. this, I don't know, almost meritocratic view of the world, um, this idea that there are successful males and not so successful males, which men kind of think along these lines, and that men kind of fall into line uh, behind other males that they find are strong, um, actually could be uh, viewed in a certain context and in a certain way as a disadvantage, because a man will think that that's the natural way of things. But if you're outside of that hierarchy, as a, a woman who's, who's, who thinks completely differently, she can play that system in a way that a man simply can't, because it doesn't even occur to a man to play it. Do you see the difference that I'm pointing out here? The angry feminists, as well as the angry, I don't know, MRAs or whatever, have one thing in common. They think that the system is skewed against them, and that this is a bad thing. <clears throat> They see our social order as something of a conspiracy, that the patriarchy is there to deliberately put women in their place. It may actually just arrive, or just sort of work itself out, or evolve organically. It just happens because of what males are. Women can see this. Women can see the bigger picture here. You know the old um, saying that uh, women fight dirty. Well, it's not so much that they fight dirty. They don't fight, the, the, you know, I would, if we're going to say fight, I would say that they don't fight by the rules of the patriarchy because there are rules by which a male will uh, demonstrate dominance over another male. Um, you have to do that. You have to follow the rules. Women don't follow those rules. Again, they're weaker. They think differently. They have, they have to have a means of coping with the fact that things are overtly much more powerful and with an intuitive way of thinking. You can feel your way into a system in the way that, a, that someone who is in the system, who is born into the system and has never lived outside of the system, can't view it. You can't analyze it in the same way that someone who is part of it can. Um, I don't think that there's anything evil about this. Uh, you know, the, the thing about women fight dirty... Uh, it's not even, there's not, I don't even believe in the whole idea of fighting dirty. It's just that the implicit in that is they don't play by the same rules that males do. It's not, there's nothing dirty about it at all. It's just that, you know, men bring knives to gunfights type thing. Um, because we think that it's going to be a knife fight and a woman says, no, no, it's going to be a gunfight, but I'm not going to pull my gun until the last possible second when you haven't even understood the terms of the conflict here. Um... I'm not saying, again, that this is okay, and I'm not saying that it's bad. It just seems to be the way of things. Again, there's no system out there that cannot be played. Take any system that you want, and you can play it. You can manipulate it. If you figure out how it works, you can benefit from the fact, even from the very fact that you're excluded from it. This, to me, is the patriarchy. It exists, but I would say that it's value neutral in many cases. Um, a woman who was born with a nice looking body and a beautiful face and this sort of thing has certain advantages in the male world that no male can compete with, but she's still smaller, weaker, and thinks less hierarchically than a man. What gives her this advantage? She's outside of the system and its rules and its 
the male, as I say, instinctively and even unconsciously accepts all these rules. The rules that create the patriarchy in the first place, the hierarchy, the discipline, this sort of thing. Now, not all males are like this, of course, and not all females are like this, of course. But I would say that as a general rule, it holds true. Men create the systems, women learn how to play them. Again, this doesn't make men evil for creating patriarchies, and it doesn't make women evil for playing these patriarchies. It's just the way it is. Um, again, the angry MRA and the angry feminist, who kind of, you know, each one hates the other's gender, are kind of the same. Each one is accusing the other one of cheating, whereas, in fact, each one is simply being exactly what it is. Um, are we really that unequal, the genders? Is the quality of a woman's life any worse or any better than a male's? First of all, I think we'll never know because most of us are born into only one gender, so we have no point of reference with which to judge the other gender's quality of life, right? Um, but I think that we are far more equal than we realize. And I'm not talking about the forms or the structures that we create in society. I'm talking about the actual reality that underpins all the illusions.